Doing scheduled, regular, structured workouts is great, and we should all be doing that. They're great for health, fitness, managing body composition, but also the amount that we move our bodies in general throughout the day is also super important. and welcome to my channel right here you're going to find loads of easy to implement down to earth advice to help you be fitter healthier and happier come on dudes let's go exercise exercise something i find myself chatting to clients about a lot lately is movement outside of scheduled workouts and with more and more people working from home now than ever before it seems like more and more people are unfortunately moving less than ever before. Because people aren't in the office, they find that there are no more toddles off to the water cooler, the printer, or taking a break to make a cuppa. There are no commutes, no stairs, just generally less opportunities to put one foot in front of the other, meaning that hitting 10,000 steps just feels way out of reach. And this is pretty worrying considering that sitting down has often been described as the new smoking. Oh my! So with that in mind, here are my top tips to help you get moving more. Number one, if you're only doing say 5,000 steps a day right now, doubling that overnight can feel like quite a hike. So instead, just focus on doing an extra 1,000 steps a day for a week because that will equate to an extra 7,000 steps in seven days. It's not the perfect 10, but it's certainly progress and you can build from there. Tip number two, get yourself some sort of tracker. You don't have to rob the bank for the latest Garmin, Fitbit or Apple Watch. Just a cheap old step tracker will do, something from Amazon. Tracking is really important because it is amazing how you can think you're doing more than you actually are. Number three, set yourself alarms and reminders to get you up and get you moving. Now a lot of trackers will do this for you, the important thing is you don't press snooze. You actually get up, act on it and do it. Next up, walk and talk. If you have to listen to a conference call for work or you need to speak to a client or a colleague or have a meeting on the phone, do it on the move. Get your headphones plugged in and you'll be able to kill two tasks in one go. Now before we get to the next tip, make sure you have subscribed to the channel and turned on your notifications so that you never miss a video and also don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know how you're getting on with increasing your steps and also feel free to ask any questions that I can answer in future videos. Next tip, dark nights mean it doesn't always feel as safe to go out walking alone so try getting out with a friend for a walk, walking and talking is literally the best free therapy ever uh, or if you'd rather stay indoors there are tons of get your steps up or get your steps in walk and workouts on youtube that you can do on the spot at home in fact i'll put a link underneath this video in the description for one of those workouts that i filmed recently and you can give that a try i hope you found these tips useful and i'd love to hear how you get on with increasing your steps Hi, I'm Katie and welcome to my channel. Right here, you're gonna find loads of <clears throat> Now before we get to the next tip, make sure that you've turned <clears throat>